If you've recently received a notification from Shopify that you need to migrate your Metapixel or your Google Analytics from your preference center into your customer event section, then this video is for you because I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it and it's not as hard as you might think. Now, a number of the Shopify stores I work with have been getting these notifications, which says set up the Google Analytics tag with the app or set up the Metapixel with the app. Now, the reason they do this is the original way that we were able to set this up was in the preferences section of Shopify. Now, the problem with this is this is not compliant with security standards anymore. So Shopify want you to use apps and sales channels to implement these pixels so that they can be more compliant and they can continue to update the apps to make it easier to track all the events and everything like that. So I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to take it from where you are now into the new version. In order to know whether or not this applies to you, we're gonna to need to click over on online store and we're gonna click preferences over here. And then under preferences, you're gonna see these two alerts here. Now, both of these will take you to a documentation page. So if we click that, it takes you to this page, which tells you exactly how to do it. But instead of you having to read directly through this, I'm gonna take you through the steps that you need to implement now and whether or not it applies to your store. So head back to your preferences center. Let's get started on migrating the Google Analytics first. So if we have a look here, there's this Google Analytics section here and under here, we can see that we've got a Google Analytics account. Now this is actually the old Google Analytics account. And the way I can tell that is because it says UA and UA stands for Universal Analytics. About two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, Google changed to GA4. And if you're interested in learning about Google Analytics 4, I actually do have a video that should be linked up here somewhere that takes you through exactly how to use Google Analytics to track your Shopify sales, okay? So we wanna make sure this is actually set up. But firstly, we wanna check that we've got the Google and YouTube app installed. So this is where they're migrating from having the Google Analytics account here into using apps instead because the apps are a lot more compliant. If you do have the app installed, you're going to see it here and you can just click open to just check that it is all configured. If you don't have the app installed, you're going to need to install it. So I've put a link down below to the app for you to get it. Once you've installed the app, we're gonna go across to it and we're gonna make sure that the analytics is set up and connected through here. Now, luckily for me, I've already done this, but it is super straightforward. You're gonna pop in here and you're gonna see a section here we are gonna to need to connect your Google account into there. And then what we're gonna to need to do is then connect your Google Analytics property, okay? So you effectively just follow all the steps through here to connect them. And once that's all connected, then you're all set up and ready to go. And as of February 2, when they disconnect the preferences section, you're already gonna be tracking your analytics. Let's now do the same thing for your Metapixel. Now it's pretty much the exact same process. They wanna take you out of preferences and move you over to an app. Let's go to online store, click preferences. And we're gonna scroll down and see the Facebook Pixel. Now, if you've got the right Pixel app installed, then you're gonna see it here. Now, for those that haven't got the Pixel app installed, I do have a video up here as well that takes you through exactly how to set up the Meta Pixel for Shopify step-by-step. -step. So you can just follow that. So once you've done that, you should be able to click open here and you'll be able to see that everything is connected properly. So we can see that everything here is active, active, active. We are all pretty much good to go. We've got approved products. We've got everything there. So if you have that all set up, basically when this change happens on February 2nd, then everything's gonna work properly. The preferences aren't gonna be relied on anymore, but these apps and pixels are all gonna be migrated perfectly, so you don't need to worry. Now, if you have any questions about this, uh, make sure you comment down below. I will be on board these questions right up until February 2nd. So if you have any challenges, uh, do let me know. And I'll also put links to the Pixel installations for each of Google Analytics, as well as the Metapixel for Shopify. Hopefully that was helpful team, over and out.